Every year people end up at the hospital, the emergency room, requiring surgery or even losing their lives because they accidentally consumed a steel wire bristle off of their barbecue grill brush. And recently, it's hit home and affected my loved ones. I've been on the quest to find the perfect barbecue brush that not only cleans my grill effectively and efficiently, but above all, safely. And unfortunately, I failed. So I'm asking you, the YouTube community, to recommend a safe and effective barbecue grill brush. Let's dive in. Okay, let's start with some background. We're all guilty of this. We've probably seen our dads growing up using those wooden handled steel barbecue brushes that you can find at your local big box store or even your grocery store. And unfortunately, they're really cheap. The bristles usually break off. They're not really well made. And we've probably never thought about it, but what if one day we accidentally consumed one of those steel bristles? Well, unfortunately, many people all over the world end up in the hospital, in the emergency room, requiring surgery to get those steel bristles out of their bodies. And some of them even die because doctors simply can't find the bristle and it either causes an infection or internal bleeding or swelling and things get really hairy. And actually it's really alarming, but in some of those cases, that little steel bristle can actually get pretty deep in our digestive system and ends up traveling to the colon or the intestines. And a lot of people lose their lives because that portion of their body gets infected and doctors have no choice but to cut it out and it drastically lowers people's lifespans. That's really gonna lower your quality of life. So it goes without saying that those steel brushes, although they're really effective and they clean your grill grates really, really well, they're extremely dangerous, especially the cheap ones that are made out of really thin and flimsy steel wire. And because they're really small, when they do get lodged in your food and end up in you, they're really hard to find and sometimes it's too late. Not too long ago, my best friend actually consumed one on accident. One night he went to bed and he was experiencing a lot of pain and it wasn't your typical pain. He was screaming in agony and he realized that something was wrong. Two nights or three nights before, he had barbecued some chicken and really that was the only thing he can think of that could possibly be wrong. At the time, he thought he had consumed bad chicken or maybe the chicken wasn't fully cooked. So he went to the emergency room. The doctors could not figure out what was wrong with them. I mean, they did everything that they could at that time. They ran a lot of blood tests. It just didn't occur to them that he could have accidentally consumed a steel wire bristle until they started to further question him. And keep in mind, he was deteriorating really quickly. And my friend kept telling them that he thought he might have ate bad chicken or the chicken was raw didn't add up to the doctors. So one of the doctors actually asked him, hey, how did you cook the chicken? And my friend replied that he had barbecued the chicken. And then the doctor asked him, how did you clean your barbecue grill? My buddy told him, I used a brush, a steel brush. And at that moment, the doctor realized that he may have consumed that steel bristle. After rushing him to the operating room and cutting them open, they were able to locate and remove the steel bristle. Thankfully, he was okay after that and it did not travel further down his digestive system. So he was really, really lucky. When we found out what actually happened and what caused all this, it really made me rethink how I clean my grills. So I've been on a quest ever since then to find a safe alternative. And I've so far bought three different brushes and they all have their issues. None of them are the perfect brush. And unfortunately, the one that has the best performance, I just don't feel too comfortable with because it's still a wire brush. And the one that's absolutely 100% safe has terrible performance. And finally, I even tried a grill scraper. You know, the ones that have the little notches, they kind of look like a fireplace picker and that just doesn't perform good at all. So I'm kind of out of ideas and I'm looking to you guys. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have a recommendation, something that's efficient, that cleans your grill really, really well 
and is absolutely safe. Now I've heard of those like barbecue blocks and I have some, the ones that you like wet and then you clean your grates with and they don't always work too great. Sometimes they leave residue on the grates and you can actually taste it in your food. So I'm not too happy with those, but maybe I'm using them wrong. So let's talk about the barbecue brushes that I have and I'll tell you my pros and cons of each. The first one, like I said, is a wire brush. It's a high quality wire brush, a steel wire brush, and it's well made, the bristles are much larger, so I guess it'll be easier to see if, you know, if they fall out and you accidentally consume them. But it still is a wire brush with wire steel bristles, and technically you could still accidentally consume them. So that's always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I've never seen a bristle actually fall off or had any dangers with that, but trust me, every time I use it, I'm scanning my grill grate, making sure that nothing fell off, there's nothing left behind before I add my protein and I just don't like having to do that every single time. I want ease of mind. It cleans really, really well, but it just doesn't feel safe. And some of the Amazon reviews have said that their particular brush did lose some bristles and it made them really, really nervous. So maybe I just had a really good one, maybe they have a really bad one, but I just don't like that feeling. The second brush that I bought is 100% safe. It actually has steel wires that are wrapped around and they're not bristles. So there's no way of it like falling off and you accidentally consuming it. If it fails, it breaks and you would see it. It would be obvious, it'd be one piece still. So that's really good. I really like that, but it never cleaned well. It actually sucks at cleaning. And maybe I'm not using it right. Leave me a comment below. Maybe I'm not using this brush correctly. From everything that I read, you're supposed to kind of heat it up a bit and then put it in water. And then with your grill being hot, you're supposed to use it with water because it kind of like steams and cleans your grates. But I've always found that you really have to press hard and put a lot of effort into it. And it just never really did a good job. It's really safe and I'm really happy with the safety of it, but the performance isn't really too good. And then I've also ventured out and I bought grill scrapers, the ones that have the notches for your individual sized grill grates. And they don't work too well. I haven't really had very good experience with it. So far from what I could tell, it does a good job of cleaning the top surface, but it just scrapes all of the residue and usually just leaves them off to the side or scrapes them and takes them all the way to the back. So it doesn't really actually clean off the residue just kind of moves it and shoves it out of the way unless you really like rack it back and forth but you have to do that for each individual grate and that can take a really long long time so that's time consuming and i don't feel like it does a great job and finally i found the little barbecue grape blocks the ones that you soak and you put on your grill when it's hot and it kind of like melts right and takes the shape of your grape and you clean your grates that way they do an okay job. I mean, so far I've found that, you know, they're pretty efficient, but sometimes they do leave a residue right from that block and I've actually tasted it in the food. So I didn't really like that too much. And again, maybe I'm not using it right. And then the other part of that is your grill can be really hot and you gotta kind of hold the, you know, the block with your hand and that can get kind of hot, right? So I end up having to use gloves and it just becomes really messy. So again, it's not the best solution. So I'm kind of stuck. I'm looking to you guys. Again, maybe I'm using these items wrong. So let me know in the comments below, but I could really use your help and it'd be really appreciated. I really do want to adopt a new system, a safe system that just honestly puts my mind at ease and not have to worry about accidentally hurting one of my family members or my daughter and sending them to the emergency room. So if you guys could help with that, please do. Leave me a comment below describing how you clean your barbecue grill grates and please recommend a safe alternative. I'm all out of ideas. I'm really looking forward to reading your comments and collaborating with you guys and hopefully together we can find a better, safer alternative to cleaning our barbecue grills. That's it for me guys. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you on the next one. Take care everybody. Hey everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of my next video. And if you can, please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Check them out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.